I study all different kinds of social bees because you really need to look at social bees to study their communication. I look at honeybees, bumblebees, and stingless bees. Honeybees have this amazing ability to communicate and it's one of the reasons why I became a biologist because I discovered as an undergraduate that they could communicate using a waggle dance. Inside Science. So a bee that dances inside the nest, let's say she goes out to find a good food source, she'll find that flower and if it's rewarding enough, she'll come back and she'll do this dance that almost looks like a figure eight of a bee dancing back and forth and then waggling her, her butt, if you will, her abdomen. And that waggling is key because the angle at which she's waggling and the duration of time she spends doing it actually tells bees where to go to find food. They can tell each other where to go, how far away to fly, and what distance to go to actually find the food source. Basically, the longer she spends shaking or waggling, the further away the food source is. So another amazing part of this communication system, which hasn't been studied as clearly, is the fact that bees can actually use sound in some ways. They can generate sounds during the waggle dance, but the primary way that they use sound is they sense through vibrations. So they're not hearing the way that we hear, but they can feel these vibrations. We discovered um, some time ago that bees can use this vibrational signal called the stop signal. And what happens is that a bee will go up to another bee, let's say I'm another bee dancing, and she will butt her head against that dancer and cause that dancer to momentarily freeze. So people had known that for a long time, but what we found is that it actually inhibits her dancing. Now, why would bees do this? It turns out that if something dangerous is at the food source, let's say they've been attacked by a spider or a wasp, essentially she should stop dancing, stop trying to tell her nestmates to go somewhere that's bad. I hope that people take advantage of resources, go online, and realize that there are many more species than just honeybees. In fact, there's an amazing diversity of bees. When we think about the flower beds that we enjoy, or we go to a florist, or go to a wedding, we see all these amazing flowers. The story of these flowers, of all these plants, is intricately tied with the evolution of bees. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, Follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.